half of U.S. pet owners say that their pets are as much a part of their family as the humans. Ursula, true or false? True. As much a part of their family? Okay, yes. may, mm. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Come okay, on. no. Oh, may, nice. not, not as much, but they are an important part of the family, <laughs> but not as much as humans. I think there are people who, I, who put dogs and cats, their pets, above humans in their family. I, I'm not one of them. I think as much as I love Scooter. I think Lillian is happier in life because of the addition of Frankie. Every time she when Lillian the garage door opens, Frankie goes right down there by the door and starts meowing. <laughs> and and as soon as she comes in, Frankie from standing up gets down on the on her on her belly and she wants to lay on the floor and she wants her belly rubbed right then. I definitely believe that most that families with pets, they are a part of the family. If you if you pay attention to your pet, how can they not be a part yeah. of your family? Uh very easy. I mean, how? Straw poll. How many of you have pet do you, do any of you have pet insurance? Either of you? No. No. Same. I don't have pet insurance. Uh, look, the pet, the dog was definitely a member of the family until we had kids. And I think this is a universal experience that anyone with small children has. You realize, oh, my gosh, I am now spending 90 percent less time with my pet. And to pretend like they're a fully vested member of the family like the child Come on. Like, the fact they, that we make financial decisions they about are. our animals, right? <laughs> oh, do I want to spend $5,000 on the cat or the dog or put the dog or the cat down? People do that all the time. Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. But uh, Brian in Bellevue says, I would lay down my life for my dog. I believe him. He also has pet insurance. Yes. If I were to do it again, I would definitely get pet insurance. 